Hello everybody. Happy Friday. It is time for Facebook Friday. Today we're using flower cart. This is a stamp set and a die set. They're not in a bundle anymore, but you can still get both. You just have to use their separate item numbers. They're really good. I actually designed these projects in the spring and then just never got to them because then new things came out and we started doing online exclusives and I just never got to them. So they've actually been sitting right there on the counter for like three months. So now they're finally going to get their day in the spotlight. So flower cart is what we're doing. I just checked my blog post and it does look like it is up and live. <laughs> I decided, you know what, I'm just going to start publishing instead of trying to schedule it because it seems like when I try to schedule it is when things go wrong. So it should be good. Um, over there, there's a free PDF for you, so make sure you check that out. Um, first, let me just remind you guys that today is the last day to register for my Market Goodness class. It includes this mini album. It's a recipe mini album. It's super cute. It's like a little gift uh, recipe album that you could give somebody or just make for yourself because it's super cute. Um, today is the last day to register. If you look right here, I don't know if you guys can see that, I've already been prepping for it. Um, I look and guesstimate how many kits we're gonna need and then I start prepping so that I can get them out by next Friday. Um, so if you're interested in the Market Goodness class, there's the mini album and the four cards, um, make sure to um, email me for that registration link. And uh, if you're already on my email list, I've sent it out several times and it just went out Wednesday, I think. So um, look back in your email for that. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, that it's all paper, Katie, that you put yours together. This one, the um, recipe album, it's cute. I know it's very impressive for people who don't do what we do and then they see what we can do. It's really exciting, right? It's sometimes hard to explain to people paper crafts. They're kind of like, mm, you know, they think of like kindergarten paper crafts, but that's not what we do. We make books. We make scrapbooks. We make cards. It's kind of hard, but it's very impressive. Okay, I'm going to flip you guys around because I want to talk to you a little bit about paper shares. Hello, everybody. It's so good to see you. You guys, my kids are back in school. Woohoo! It's been a fun week. It's been kind of a drama filled week you know just emotions a lot of emotions a lot of change um figuring out i'm going to try to uh get on logged on to facebook real quick um they're good they like their schedules they like their classes um i there's a new rule at their school this year where they can't use their phones or any of their devices at all and um they actually have to turn them in when they get into class and then they pick them up as they leave class. So they can use them in the hallway and they can use them at lunch, but they can't use them in class, which, you know, as a parent, as a teacher, I think that's great. Um, as a teacher, I, I am a little like, how are they going to manage that? But they seem to be doing it. The girls are having a hard time adjusting to that, but hey, we all survive without devices, right? <laughs> One of them, um, my daughter said her friend was called into the office to kind of give their opinion. Some kids were student class officers and stuff were sent in to say, how do you feel about this policy? And he got very emotional and says, what if my mom needs to contact me? And I said, hey, if our moms needed to contact us back in the 90s, they'd call the office, right? So if your mom needs to contact you, she can call you in the office <laughs> or call you during your class break. So anyway, it's just funny, you know, because to them, they don't know, they don't understand life without a device. They don't understand how life could even work without a device. Um, believe me, I love my phone and I am, I use my phone all day more than I want to use it, but we survived without it, right? Ladies, back in the seventies, eighties and nineties, we didn't need a phone in high school, middle school, elementary, we didn't need a phone. Anyhow, that's where we're at. That's what we've been dealing with. Okay. Uh, paper shares. I sent out an email about this, um, yesterday, I think, um, paper shares, holiday catalog paper shares. And I'm doing the three sizes again, so you can decide. 12 by 12 is for those of you that want a lot of paper. So basically, that's going to be a half a pack of all the 12 by 12 papers. And then um, there are two packs that come six by six. The Take a Bow paper and the 
autumn paper. And so those two, of course, will come six by six, but everything else will come 12 by 12. You get a full sheet. That's $59 plus $10 shipping. The shipping on this is more because it's a heavy, okay? And, um, you know, I ship by weight. When it comes to this, I can't do flat rate shipping. Um, well, I mean, I could do a box, but then that's $16. But if we use the weight of it, it's usually around 10 or $11. So that's why that is $10. The next option is six by 12. So then that's a half of a full sheet for those of you that want um, just, you know, some paper, half a sheet. Um, you'll get half a sheet of all the 12 by 12. Oh, I wanted to say there's a one and I can't think of the name. You know, I have my catalog right here. There's one pack of paper and I can't show you the inside of the catalog. Hopefully you guys have been getting your catalogs in the mail. Um, they've been, seems to be arriving this week. There's a pack of paper in this catalog, let me see, I'm trying to find it, that is not included. And it's because, here it's called A Little Bit Festive, and it's on page 18 of the new mini catalog. I would show you, but we're not allowed to show you the new catalog until it goes live, the inside of it. Um, the reason this one is not included is because this pack is similar to the pack in the annual catalog. It just has one sheet of three of the patterns. And then it has three sheets of like die cuts and card fronts and what they look like stickers, but they're not, they're just like punch out die cuts. That one is not included. But all the other paper, the glimmer paper, there's a specialty paper, they'll all be included in here. Um, so then that's six by 12, okay? And the price of that is 36 plus eight. I hope, I just typed these up real fast. I hope whatever's on the website is the price. I think these are right. And then the other uh, option is for those of you that just want a little bit, you just want a little taste, little little um, sample of the paper so you can decide what you want to order full packs of really is this is a good way to figure that out um, there's only twenty three dollars plus six dollars shipping for this and this is six by six okay so just remember if you get the six by twelve and the twelve by twelve there are two packs of the paper that only come in six by six there's twelve sheets in the autumn paper and I think six sheets in this in the take a bow paper I have to look look that up but it's one sheet of each pattern from all the packs okay I sent the email out for that uh, if you want to register for it and you don't have that email please email me and I will send that to you I can't that's one of those things I'm not allowed to put on my blog or on social media okay now did you guys see this this week close to my heart and let's look at it let's let's pull up the iPad um, close to my heart if you have not heard Stampin' Up, let's see if I can do two things at once. In the spring, close to my heart announced they were going out of business. So Stampin' Up said, you know what? We're gonna invite all your, basically their demonstrators are called mark makers. We're gonna invite them all to join our company. And with that, we're gonna bring over some of their product. And so they did. And if you're on the website, you might've seen this. When you click the three little lines and you click shop products, there's this close to my heart products right here. And then up until this week, everything on here could only be purchased by people who had been close to my heart customers previously. And the reason for this is because they had a smaller customer base than ours. Ours is huge. And if they had opened this up to all the Stampin' Up people, it would have sold out like that. And they wanted to help make that transition easier for our close to my heart maker friends so that, I mean, it wouldn't be so like, oh, they brought over stuff, but it sold out. So they were limiting to people that had ordered close to my heart things in the past. Well, this week they lifted that. So anybody can order this. And I actually ordered some stuff. Um, I actually did it before that because I don't even remember it, but I must have ordered close to my heart at some point. So I did have an account. So I ordered some of it. And this one right here is my favorite thing that I ordered and it's called All Aboard Stamp and Thin Cuts. And their thin cuts are exactly like our dies. Hopefully you guys can see this without the glare. Uh, it's very, very cute. Um, the other thing that I ordered that I really, really liked was the paper. This paper right here, Mix In Paper Pack. Um, it's just one sheet of each of these patterns. And um, I quickly made a couple of cards that I posted earlier this week. Um, Stampin' Up! had told us that this stuff might sell out pretty quickly once they opened it up to the general public, but so far these things are still available. Had I known, I would have made this Facebook Friday this week because it's so cute. But here is two of the cards. This is that stamp set and that paper. 
The stamp sets are really nice. They come like this. These are were brought over, so they do say close to my heart. It feels kind of weird saying that, but they're, you know, stamping up products now. Um, they even come with a little like magnet inside, which is really cool. And they come together like that. Um, packaged differently than the Stampin' Up! stuff. Okay, so that is called All Aboard Stamp. No, I can't get it back in here. All Aboard Stamp and Thin Cuts. There's about four or five pages worth of product. A lot of cardstock. If you've ever bought their cardstock, they have two tone cardstock. Also, um, some albums, some flip flap things that I'm not familiar with, but you may be familiar with. Um, so if you are wanting to look at all that, just click that close to my heart thing, um, heading under the, when you click the three little lines and you'll see it. This is another thing that I ordered that I didn't even end up opening, but it's some little, uh, gnomes for summer die cuts, really cute. And then also this one may have sold out already. Uh, the uh, soda pop paper packet. I don't know if it's sold out or not. I haven't even opened it. But anyway, if you're just looking for some new inspiration or you are a Close to My Heart fan or you just were curious, go check those things out. Um, I've had a couple of you email me asking me about why you couldn't order those. And that was the story behind it. They were just trying to make um, it an, a smooth transition for the Close to My Heart makers and they didn't want their products that they brought over. I turned that the wrong way, didn't I? They wanted their products that they brought over not to sell out like immediately. So now it's available to all of us. I'm trying to get those lines straight. Okay, straight enough. Okay, uh, Paper Pumpkin this month came. You've got two stamp sets, Night of Navy, Spot, and then their birthday cards. And um, I was going to put them together and I just, I've run out of time. This week has been kind of crazy. Um, I have a few extra kits. If you didn't get your kit this month, Every month it happens, somebody's card was compromised or you changed cards and you forgot and you didn't get your kit. Um, I have, uh, I don't know, three or four of them left. So if you would like, if you need a kit because you didn't get yours, let me know. Um, I try to always have extra. Some months they're gone before I can even show you guys, but this month I still, I have a couple. Okay, um, and the next month's kit, August, no, September's kit is a fall kit. Um, I haven't looked into it too uh, deeply, but I, I saw that it's a fall kit, which you guys know is my jam. So I'm excited about that. Okay, um, yeah, the flip flops are really neat. Um, from what I understand, you know, if you make a scrapbook page and you have lift up elements, but then you slip it into one of our, one, you know, the 12 by 12 protective thing, then you can't flip those things up. So what I think flip flops are, correct me if I'm wrong, they help you make an, a scrapbook page interactive. You're able to open it within that cover. Basically things are still protected, but you can lift them up. So y'all, I haven't scrapbooked in a very long time. I'm gonna have to exercise those muscles. Once we, we have a new scrapbook brochure coming out at the beginning of September. So get excited if you're a scrapbooker. Um, I, it's been years, but that used to be all I did was scrapbook. Um, so I'm excited about it. I, I uh, <laughs> my third daughter wants to know why there's way more scrapbooks of my first daughter than her. So maybe I need to, this will this will help me catch up, right? Um, I wanted to show you, I got this kit. Um, we have two kits and actually the Halloween kit has already sold out and they say that they won't get any more until November, but they have said they will keep it around um, until next October. So um, don't worry, it'll come back. I know it's frustrating, but this is a Christmas card kit. Really pretty. I wanted to look at these envelopes. Look at these envelopes. They're like um, shimmery, very pretty. So if you need a kit, if you're looking for a kit, this is in our kits collection um, on the website. All right, just wanted to make sure you guys saw that. I also had intended on putting that together to show you and I did not get to it. I have a lot of things on my to-do list, a lot, <laughs> always. Um, Club Create for September features the More Than Autumn bundle my by far my most favorite thing in the <coughs> excuse me the holiday coming up holiday catalog very very cute club create will feature um that in september four cards and a treat holder um club create kits come in plastic envelopes this month's club create kit came in a special plastic envelope i don't know if some of you've gotten yours yet before um this is the usually what they come in um Club Create is $45 a month. 
It includes about $25 in product plus five projects. Um, if you stick around for six months in a row, you get a $25 product credit to spend on your 20, or on your, <laughs> on your 20th month. No, your sixth month, um, which is um, always fun. This last month, I think I had like 50 people claim their Club Create reward. So, so it's like a little shopping spree, a little fun, a little bonus. Um, if you'd like to subscribe to Club Create, there is a tab at the top of my blog. It says Club Create, and you can click that. The PDF and video for this are already available. If you are just a PDF person and you don't want the kit, but you want the PDF and the video, you can click the PDF option, uh, PDF at the top of my blog. That's what I'm trying to say. There is a drop down menu that says shop. Under there, it says PDF store. And uh, there's hundreds of PDFs, they're all alphabetical. Um, you can um, scroll through there and find the ones that you want. By the way, um, my PDF store only takes PayPal from now on because we had a major issue with Square last year. So PayPal is the only option on the store. If you don't use PayPal and you wanna buy PDFs, just send me an email and we can do it differently through a credit card through Square. Uh, it's just, I don't even want to get into it, but just know that for right now, that's, that's the problem. Um, I'm hoping that they'll change it. I picked a winner. Hold on. I left the post-it note over here. This week I picked the winner from YouTube. So Kathy Allen, you are our winner for our, didn't I have that? Yeah. Facebook Friday kit and the iconic imagery bundle. Uh, thanks Kathy for sharing the video. Make sure that you send me an email with your mailing address so that I can get, um, so that I can get this in the mail to you. I'm glad you guys like this month's Club Create envelope. It was part of our little anniversary gift that was supposed to be in July, but July's kit didn't fit in there because it was 12, six by 12 paper. The only thing I didn't like about these kits is that I had to do the twirling, you know, of the <laughs> twine on all those kits. It took me quite a long time. It was a little more tedious than Velcro tabs, I'll tell you that, but they were cute, right? Um, I'm glad you guys liked them. Okay, last but not least, PDF is up, pinkbuckaroo.com. Um, it's got today's projects. It's got measurements and supplies, okay? It also has links to those things that I talked about, the Market Goodness class, Club Create, and the, um, hello, paper shares. All right, the, uh, the last thing about Facebook Friday, I'm gonna tell you, is that if you like today's projects, I will send them to you for free as a little kit, um, free with a purchase of $35 or more at stampinup.com. You can order anything you want, doesn't matter, as long as it's over $35 and it uses this week's host code, I'll send you a kit and they kind of look like this. They're all different, depending on what the projects are. I make you a tag, I don't do any stamping for you. Here's last week's. Um, it, you have to do your own stamping. So that means for this week's projects, you will need the flower cart stamps and dies um, and an embossing folder. I don't do embossing. That's the only thing I don't do. So um, if you need the embossing folder, it's on the list, but you could, you know, you could use any embossing folder, uh, but you will need the stamps and the dies. I'm not die cutting the little uh, cart. You'll need those dies. Okay. The deadline for that is Monday at midnight. Okay, I think we are ready to go. You guys, I'm fighting a stuffy nose, trying to work through it for like a couple of weeks now. I'm not congested just every afternoon. My nose gets stuffy, like big time, like big time. Why would that be just in the afternoon? I can't figure it out. I'm trying to like preemptively take Sudafed before it happens. But then when I go to bed, it's still stuffy. I don't know, is it allergies? But why just in the afternoon? Thanks, Mary, I appreciate that. Good to see you. Hi, Leah, back to school uh, next week. Yeah, we uh, we um, went this week. Is it, uh, why would allergies just be in the afternoon? Because things get kicked up in the daytime? So I've never had allergies before. It's really bugging me, I don't like it. Do not like it. Okay. Let's make our first card. Now, remember, I made these um, last April, okay? Before the new catalog, before the annual catalog game came out. And then all the new stuff came out and I didn't want to, um, I'm still trying to get this straight. I didn't want to use it because there was all this new stuff. But here we are, it's time to use it. In the spring catalog, this was a bundle. 
It came as a bundle. You could use one number to order it. That's not an option anymore in this catalog. You have to use two numbers, okay? Um, there's the stamp set number and the die number. Um, so make sure you add both of them in if you wanna get them. How many of you have this, uh, this set? It's really fun. Uh, you can stamp the cart or you can paper piece the cart. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of both. This one, we're gonna stamp part of it and um, die cut the other part of it. Okay, let me get, a, let's get situated. Let's get all of our pieces out. Now, if you guys know me, you know I love black and white stripe. Everything black and white, for some reason, I just love. Um, so my very first, this is the very first thing I made with this. And of course, the awning had to be black and white stripe. The, the umbrellas and the uh, cushions I have out at my pool in my backyard are black and white stripe. I just, I have a thing for black and white stripe. I don't know, I don't know why, I just do. But doesn't it look cute with the pink? Now, I don't know if you guys can see the difference in the embossing folders. This is a retired embossing folder. I believe this was in the embossing folders that were online exclusives. Remember we had a three pack? I think that's where that one went. So I changed it and this time we're using, let me show you because I've already done it. You might be able to see it better here. Um, dazzling, what's it called? Dashing, dashing designs. It's kind of a diagonal quilted design. It's a really good embossing folder. Um, so check that out in the annual catalog. Okay, let's do our stamping. We're gonna stamp the, the little awning um, in black and white. I guess, this, is it called an awning? The, the top part, we'll just call it the top part. So black and white memento. And then we'll do our flowers. And this is two-step stamping and I will say, that sometimes two-step stamping is hard to do without a stamp positioning tool. Um, but this one is actually pretty easy, I have found. Um, I like to do the greenery first, so I'm gonna do granny apple green. And then I'm using bubble bath. Our cardstock is pretty in pink. Canopy, Karen, yes, I think that's probably the be a better word for that, canopy. Um, the cardstock is pretty in pink, but the flowers, our bubble bath, okay? And there you go, super easy. Then we're gonna stamp the sentiment. Did I put my embossing away? I did, hold please. All the way across the room, of course. I've been doing some designing these last few days for some coming up things and I was using my embossing stuff and then I guess just put it away. And I have once again lost my reverse tweezers. Why can I not keep up with those? Oh wait, here they are. Okay, they just fell down. Just kidding. They just fell down. But I don't have my reverse mark either. My gosh, what's happening? I'm not prepared. Okay, reverse mark. <laughs> oh, look how bad my reverse marking bat is, you guys. Yikes. Okay, happy hello. And then, We'll put it in our little tray. We're gonna dump some white on here. I need to put this in our my bigger embossing thing. It's easier to do that way. All right. And then let's just move that out of the way. Grab my heat tool down here. And make it nice and shiny. Don't you love white embossing powder on black cardstock? Looks like a chalkboard to me. All right, I am gonna use this die right here. Let me show you, I didn't show you the inside. Um, I didn't do anything on my original. So then when I was making yesterday's video, I was like, you know what, what if we did that? Because this die right here actually is a frame die. And so you think it's gonna cut out like this whole thing as one piece, but it does not. So let me show you what it looks like. This is from the un, mm, Unbounded Love dies. Unbounded Love or Unbounded Beauty? I think it's Unbounded Love. Okay, so let's cut this. Let me show you what it does. I was surprised the first time I used it. The Unbounded Love dies. Please correct me if, it, if I'm wrong. Um, a, a really good set of dies. Okay, so you think it's gonna be the whole thing, but it's not. You, this part right here comes out 
a little, just a little stitched rectangle. And then this part you can see is the little frame. So you could put them together if you wanted to, but I always put everything with dimensionals, so that would be kind of hard probably to keep them together. Well, maybe if I use black dimensionals, maybe, but we're gonna use it on the inside. All right, and then we're gonna get these two, this one right here, get that lined up. And then there you have two awning dies. This one is for your stamped awning. And this is for if you're gonna just do it out of two different colors of cardstock, which I didn't end up doing at all. I try when I'm designing for Facebook Friday, I try to use as many stamps and dies from the set as I can to just show you different ways to use them. Cause I know sometimes you have a set and you know, there's like one or two that you just never use. So I try to like challenge myself. Oh, my die slipped a little bit. Oh well. I try to challenge myself to give you guys lots of ideas for even those, you know, the little ones that you may not use. Okay, now you're gonna, you're gonna wanna cut out your wheels. And I did that already. Here they are from um, a con pie. And it has this little funky, let me get it this thing right here and you're like what is that I'll show you in a second um, I also cut out the little little fence and that's this die right here and this die the first time I did it I cut this thinking this was the wheel and I think this is or maybe no you know what this is this is for the stamped wheel right here but we're not we're not gonna do that so you want if you're gonna paper piece you want this die right here and then the the little bottom part, the box part is this die right here and it cuts both of them at the same time. So this one, we're just gonna take some liquid glue and I'm just gonna glue them together because we're not really worried about, we're not putting anything actually inside of it. But it's gonna create kind of a little three-dimensional box look. All right, now these guys, I put an adhesive sheet behind my cardstock before I cut them out so that they'll be stickers makes it a whole lot easier. Okay, where do we want to start with all of this? I feel like we should start with the box part. We're going to need some dimensionals. Let's see if I have a sheet of dimensionals here. And we'll start. Those comments are disappearing. I feel like I'm all alone. Hello, everybody. Hey, how's the weather where you guys are? I always want to know. I'm going to put that right there. It's blazing hot down here. We're dying. It's awful. It's the same temperature as the surface of the sun down here. But, you know, that's to be expected in August. Fine. But they say next week the high is like 96. And I was like, oh, how nice. That'll be so nice. <laughs> it's funny how your perspective changes. Okay. It was like 108 here yesterday or day before. All right, put um, one wheel back here, and I actually think I'm gonna have to lift that up a little bit, that dimensional, to put that down back there. And then this one, it has this weird little pointy thing right here, and that's kind of like the crossbar to connect the two wheels. Um, this is real like fragile, so get your take your pick tool and just kind of scrape that adhesive off, be careful. Hot in Central Arkansas, yeah. I mean, Missouri too, it is August, 112 in San Antonio on Wednesday. Yes, Jana, yes, welcome. <laughs> welcome to San Antonio. Uh, we live kind of out in the country, so it wasn't quite as hot here, but yeah, awful, awful. Ooh, thunder and, and lightning in Washington State. Patty, that's my favorite. 80-ish in upstate New York, nights have been 55. Mary, my heart just did a little like pitter-patter with that. I, that sounds beautiful. All right, see how I put this um, here on in front and then you take that little, you want the little crossbar right there to connect like that, okay? And then this little weird thing is the, the stand, the little legs for the front of the cart. All right, so carefully pull your adhesive off. Have you guys gotten the adhesive sheets yet? Have I convinced you yet that you need the adhesive sheets? I mean, I couldn't survive without adhesive sheets. Okay, so see there how that works? All right, now take your, I discovered that you need to put your flowers on first, and then we're gonna put the awning on afterwards, because the awning needs to go a little bit higher than you think it's gonna need to go. 
So, you know, it looks like I need to zoom in a tad, just a tad, just a tad. Adhesive sheets are the best, right? They creating fussy, yes. I mean, well, because if you look at this, my original card, I use glue and you can see right here. Can you guys see, is it, is it uh, focusing? You can see I made a mess of the glue there and there. So, you know, it just is so much better. All right, so put this down behind there like that. And then, oh, we don't need any more of that. We need this, the little fence, just gonna kind of tie it all together. And we'll put that right around the flowers. Isn't it cute? I mean, doesn't it look like it'd be in France somewhere on the corner selling flowers? It just really does. Now, you know, I don't like to leave anything just kind of floating in the air. So just get like your uh, crumb cake marker and put a shadow underneath it. This little guy we're going to put with a dimensional just right here. All right, and then I've got our pretty in pink card front. I've got brand new adhesive, brand new. It's not gunky and ugly yet. I'm gonna do that. And then on the end side, we're gonna put a piece of basic white. Oh, cool morning, 53, Gail, gosh, that's really kind of cold. That sounds like, I mean, when you get down close to 40s, that sounds, I mean, that's like winter here. Now, if you were to go swimming in a pool somewhere, Gail, would it be, would the water be super cold still? I'm kind of thinking it would be. Very cold. Okay, I need to, let me see what my other, oh, I just tripped on my, um, on my, Heat a, my heat tool, get out of here. Um, I'm gonna stamp this, do I, why am I so unprepared? Okay, let's use this. You need a lesson on how to apply the sticker sheet so the backer peels off easily. So Lisa, the trick is to use this, right? So, you know, I mean, I haven't had trouble peeling the back off. I just have to get it started with my take your pick tool like that. And then once you get it started, it's pretty good. I can never get it started without using either this or the tip of my paper snips. I don't know, maybe that'll help. All right, let's uh, stamp the little pot in pecan pie, and then we'll do the greenery again in granny apple. And then we'll do the flowers and pretty in pink. And then this probably should use a, a adhesive sheet. The, to cooler water, yes, I, I but I've heard the water temps are up this year compared, oh, I think a couple mornings ago it dipped in, the, oh my, 40s, that's crazy. Gail, are you in the upper peninsula or the lower part of Michigan? Um, the water temperature here, our pool is 90, which is, Kind of like bath water, but it does feel good on a hot day. It does. Uh-oh, we need to put this adhesive down. Our lows at night are like 78. In August, sometimes it doesn't even get that low. This is really hot and muggy, humid. All right. Mid, okay, near Rhonda. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right, I did know that. Um, so beautiful up there. The first time I came to Michigan, I uh, came to see Rhonda. We went, she, I flew in, I can't remember, but it was like a 45 minute drive to her house and you have so many beautiful barns and we don't have beautiful, I mean, our barns don't look like a, like a barn on a calendar. Your barns look like barns in a calendar, on a calendar. It's so pretty there. Everything's so green. Of course that's in the summer, right? <laughs> Not in the winter. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Now this this ribbon is vanilla. It's not white, but you guys know me, I don't care. I'll use it. It doesn't matter to me. What do you guys think? It's a little bit tedious, I will tell you. If you're not into tedious, I am. I like little details. Um, I don't think I would wanna make a 100 of these cards, but I definitely think it's a special card. No. 
it's cute, right? And the pink and the black and white. Oh, chef's kiss. Love it. Okay, let me see. I'm going to switch us out. Do I need these colors? Let me move all of this. Thank you, Paula. I like it too, but I like anything that's pink and black and white. I mean, that's like my favorite. Okay, okay. Now the next one is, and you can tell I'm using all new in colors. So this, I made these cards right after the in colors came out. I really do love our in colors. I love them. All of them. Okay. Let me get this one. This one is Petunia Pop. And this time we are going to stamp the um, cart. Now, this is the second one. Here's the first one, and it says Happy Mother's Day. Well, Mother's Day was around the corner, and it now it's not. So I'm going to use Happy Birthday. If you want to use Happy Mother's Day, it is in this stamp set. I know a lot of times people are like, I need a Happy Mother's Day sentiment. So this is your stamp. You need this if you like that. I'm just going to use that little scripty happy, happy, happy birthday from Round We Go. Okay, now this paper on here is gorgeous. And I haven't used it at all, I don't think. Um, it is called Thoughtful Designs. And you know what? Let me grab the full pack right here. 12 by 12 in the annual catalog. And it's like an ombre specialty it's like shimmer it has some shimmer to it some shine and uh here are the other sheets um you have like a pink and a purple like a peachy maybe like flirty flamingo down to like i don't know i don't know what the colors are it probably says on the back this one is more orangey this one is kind of a green and yellow and then you've got your blue so all that's just single-sided but look how pretty it is it's really pretty. So definitely, I definitely recommend that paper. Okay, so this opens up like this to a gift card holder. I have the gift card over here in this one. All right. Pretty fun. Easy, but big wow factor. Don't you love when I make easy, but with big wow factor? All right, this one has a lot of ink, and I can already tell that I'm missing some ink. Let's see, we need... Crumb cake. Did I need smoky slate? Yeah, I did. Did I put that on the other tray? I need petunia. Yep, here they are. Petunia pop and smoky slate. All right, so pecan pie, crumb cake, garden green, blackberry bliss, petunia pop, and smoky slate is what we are using. I like to look at them like that. That's what we're using for this card. Okay, let's do our stamping first. You know what? I'm going to tie this back together because I can't stand looking at it not tied and this is petunia pop ribbon so you know it's gonna match the petunia pop pop cardstock the petunia pop ink they all match okay so now let's start i i feel like you need to start from the top and work your way down to make sure everything fits all right so let's do happy birthday at the top in blackberry bliss and then we will, let's, we're gonna leave the flowers because we're gonna stamp them separately. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, we're gonna do Petunia Pop and Garden Green. So Garden Green. And I didn't clean these, but I think we're okay. The co colors are similar enough. I think we'll be all right. Let's see. Oh, I've gotta move it down, I can't see it. Come on, line up, line up. It's like a puzzle. There we go. All right. And then we are going to do, let's do the, the box part. And we're going to do that in crumb cake. So you got to think about leaving enough room for those flowers there. Okay, right there. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Look what I did. Look what I did, you guys. Oh, so sad. Wow, that has never, ever happened to me. And don't I always tell you guys, close your ink pads. Don't leave them open on your, on your, um, 
workspace. I've never dropped one face down though. Have you guys ever done that? <laughs> well, good thing we're making another one. All right, now put your wheels in pecan pie right there. I know, did you like feel like that cringe in your gut? Like, oh no. Yeah, it happens to the best of us. Little little rocks. This time we don't have to do the the little line there because um, we've got the little pebble image. I know. Look, we're gonna have to have a moment of silence for that. I mean, there's no way I'm gonna have. I mean, it's even on the card base. Yikes! Yikes! Okay, we'll look at this one. Let's look at this one now that my ink pads are closed. <laughs> That's the card you give to someone who maybe you don't like very much. <laughs> Or maybe they're losing their eyesight. I don't know. That's terrible. No, that's the card that goes in the trash for sure. In the trash. All right, let's cut this out. Let's cut this out. That needs to be added to the blooper wheel. Have you done that, Trisha? Oh, you know, at least it didn't happen to the card I'm working on. Because then we'd have to start over. Uh, and you know what? I wasn't totally happy with that card anyway because the stamp was kind of, the, the ink pad was kind of juicy on the sentiment. So I felt like it was a little too juicy. So if I had to pick one card to be ruined, I guess I would pick another one. All right. Now, why is my trash can all the way across? Let's put this on. with that and then this little cutie little patootie look just a teeny teeny tiny banner cut that from petunia pop and it is in this same die set again just very carefully peel that backing off and put that right there on your cart so cute Okay, now the rest, we're just going to piece it together. It's very easy. There are a lot of pieces to this card, so make sure. You know, did I put all the pieces on the, did I put all the measurements on the PDF? Huh. Three, three, four, five, five. Blackberry Bliss cardstock. Maybe I did. Looks like I left maybe the white off. I was thinking, I don't remember. I don't remember writing all that down. But I think I did, except for this one white piece. So it would just be a quarter inch smaller than the Blackberry Bliss piece. This is a four and a fourth by 11 inch, you know, just a half sheet of cardstock. And you just score it at two and three fourths from each end. We'll put the good old white on the inside. Boy, that white piece is kind of small. Looks like I cut that too small. Oh, I know why. You know, I think this card is destined to just be messed up. It's too small because it has a mat. Blackberry Bliss mat. There, now it looks better. I look like I don't know what I'm doing today. Like an amateur here, amateur hour. Okay, a <laughs> piece of white right here. And then to just make that little gift card pocket, this is just a strip of um, DSP from the Petunia Pop, um, you know, the in color, in color pack of paper. All right. And get that right there. Just put that adhesive on three sides. Taco time, Joan. Fun. Card, desk, lap carpet, all in one big motion. Oh, Trisha, tell me it wasn't either Real Red or Blackberry Bliss. Those are the worst ones to drop, too. Um, okay, before we close this, let's um, get, let's do this. We're going to stamp. Oh, you know what? I didn't want to do it in this color. Do I have my cleaner? I want to do it in smoke slate. Now, you guys, bonus cards. Stick around for bonus cards because the bonus cards that I have today uh, are using some sneak peek stuff. Um, so you're going to want to see those. You know, once I get new product, it's hard for me to play with anything old. I just want to play with the new stuff. Even though the stuff's not even that old. I just like new stuff. All right, so stamp the three pots there. And then we're going to do... I should have left these over here. Oh, let's close them. 
load. Now I'm paranoid. Ugh. There we go. That's garden green. And then this is Petunia Pop. Don't you love the names of ink? Uh, I heard one time Stampin' Up, they will put out in, at the home office, they'll put out like a color or a stamp set or whatever, and people can suggest names for them. Because I would think it would be hard for the designers to keep coming up with different names. But sometimes they take suggestions, I think, at the home office. I heard that one time, once upon a time. Okay, we've got that, we've got that. So now take this and this, and we're going to put this, I mean, come on. Take that and that, adhesive, adhesive. Oh my goodness. I feel like once something happens, it's like a comedy of errors just continue, you know? All right, Blackberry Bliss and Petunia Pop. I think they go pretty well together. Very dark and very light. Well, not very light, lighter. All right, now, before we put that last piece on, we're gonna take our Petunia Pop ribbon. And tie this. You guys, my refrigerator died. Did I tell you last week we were having, our refrigerator is only five years old. We had a repair guy come out, the Samsung repair, because it's a Samsung fridge. They fixed it. And then it died the next day again. I had to wait a whole nother week. It came out yesterday and said it's unfixable. So here I am now needing a new refrigerator. <sighs> you know, remember when things used to last? And the, the guy said, hey, if you get 10 years out of a refrigerator, that's like really good. I'm like what? And he said, you know, the more bells and whistles your refrigerator has, we all know this the more complicated the repair, the more, they tell us that with the cars too, right? The more computer stuff you have, the more expensive the repair. Well, our refrigerator, you know, is a smart refrigerator. Well, it wasn't very smart. Um, Jen, I had heard Bosch was good. The only problem is that Samsung is now giving us a credit, <laughs> which means I have to, I can only use it on a Samsung fridge. So we're kind of stuck and we're kind of in that, do we do this again? You know what I will tell you though, guys, I love the refrigerator. It has a flex zone on the bottom. So it's four doors and on the bottom, the, the door on the right can be either a freezer or a fridge. And we use it as a fridge and we use it like as our, there's one drawer that has lunch stuff. The girls make their lunch and then the other one has Diet Cokes in it. I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, I know, I know, I've heard. But you know what? You can find somebody that will tell you, don't get Samsung. Somebody else will tell you, don't get Whirlpool. Somebody else will tell you, don't get blah, blah, blah. They're all bad. They're all junk. They all break. But yeah, I know. I know, I know. Okay, there we go. Oh, should we even leave? I'm going to take a picture of that for you guys and <laughs> I'll share it um, on Facebook today. That's so sad. Wah, wah. I know, it's just like, it's only five years old and it shouldn't have died, it shouldn't have. I'll get the extended warranty. Maybe that'll, well, you know what happened. If I get the extended warranty, nothing will happen. Or they'll say this part, this, this problem isn't covered under warranty. That's how it always is, always. Okay, last project. Let me make sure I got everything here. I don't need this, I don't need that. I don't need that. Do, do, do. We don't need that. Clean up, clean up, clean up. Make room. Okay. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Last up, we've got a treat box. Have you guys seen these? Meltimores? I mean, it's like a little lava cake, but look. Heat it in the microwave, and that's going to make it all, like, gooey and delicious. I haven't eaten them yet. But let me tell you, my girls will devour these. They're pretty small. Pretty small. They come, and there's one that's chocolate center and one that's caramel. Now, okay, do you say caramel or do you say caramel? 
We have this discussion in our house about once a week. You guys heard what I say. I say caramel. My husband says it's caramel. And we have fought over this for about 20 years. Um, Gail, I know, I'm. it's because I like sugar. <laughs> so I'm always like, well, let me just see what I can get to make for a treat. Caramel, like care, oh, so you say caramel, like caravan. Gail, you say it the way I do it. Yvonne says it like I do. Well, then do you say caramel apple? See, that's that's always my argument. Do you say caramel apple or caramel? <laughs> we call it good. Catherine, you're right. My husband loves caramel. It's like his favorite. So we just, you know, it's a, it's a point of discussion where our children just roll their eyes and like, be quiet. Okay, little box we're going to use. Okay, here's the weirdest thing, you guys. This is the one I made back in April. Can you see the color difference? I could not figure out what color this is. I tried every pink I have and nothing. What retired? What colors? What were the end colors last year? I can't even remember now. I can't even remember. Oh, what were they? Miss it was like the dusty colors, right? But I don't think that's what that is. I really thought it was um, Berry, Berry Burst. It is not Berry Burst. It is not Flirty Flamingo. It is not Melon Mambo. It is not Petunia Pop. I don't know what it is. I tried every pink that I have. And so either it has faded or turned a different color. So we're going with Petunia Pop. I like the pink. It doesn't look like Flirty Flamingo to me. Sweet Sorbet, no, it's too pink for that. Magenta, no, I haven't had magenta in a while. Um, I thought, Jan, I thought Moody Mauve too, but it wasn't. Moody Mauve was very dark compared to this. Polished pink, no, that one retired a long time ago. Is it stamped off? Carol, I thought that too, but it's pretty intense. I don't think I would have stamped off the sentiment too. Sweet Sorbet has been long gone. It would have only been last year, last year's Pretty in Pink Crystal, I thought too. It does look like Pretty in Pink, but it, do I have Pretty in Pink out? We can try that. I tried it. You're probably right because I was trying to use in colors, but maybe it just, after it dried, it looked different. Okay, we'll use Pretty in Pink this time and we'll see. Okay, let's make the box first. And notice I cut the wrong color paper. It should be Shy Shamrock, but over here, I accidentally cut Summer Splash. They're very close. So you have to look, you can't move too fast. Like I'm always moving too fast. I cut the wrong color. Okay, but this is Shy Shamrock. Let's look to see if I have typed the measurements correctly. Nine and a half by seven. The long side, we're gonna do one and a half, four and a half, six, and nine. And then we're gonna turn it and do one and a half and five and a half, okay? All right, grab your bone folder and burnish those lines. What did I put? I think I put Petunia Pop on the, yeah, I put Petunia Pop on the supply list. You're probably right, it probably is pretty and pink because I was using all new in colors. I was playing with the end colors. Okay, notice we have a half inch over here. That's gonna be the little lip that goes down into the box. So make sure that's on the right side. And we're gonna just start with our tabs and we're gonna cut them. We're gonna cut the corners, okay? So cut and then cut the corners. Oops, went too far in. There we go. Now here, this is this is really weird, so watch this. We're gonna take, I guess I should show you what the box looks like on the inside. See how I have this cut like this? It's gonna, if you don't cut the corners off of that, it's hard to get it to close. So to do that in one foul swoop, just take your scissors and go like this. All right, you see how I did that? So you've cut the corner, big corner off of this and a corner off of that. So just go diagonal like that, okay? And then let's just finish these up. Snip, snip. We have a basketball 
team pool party tonight. We had a tennis pool party. Remember I told you guys last week we had a tennis pool party on Saturday last week and a friend group pool party on Friday. It's turning into quite the little teenage gathering place, which is, well, let's be honest, I built a pool for me. <laughs> but side bonus is that hopefully the kids would have their friends here. We had a problem with the bees, you guys. We had the kids all bring something and I think it was the fruit. There were hundreds of bees everywhere. We've never had that problem before. And so I'm worried tonight we're not gonna have any fruit, but we are gonna have sodas. Anybody have any tips on how to keep the bees away? I mean, I got, I had to get the, did you guys see I wasn't even telling you what I was doing? I just took those tabs and glued them on the inside of the box, holding it closed with our clothespins. Um, it was crazy, the bees. They were crazy. I took this hose and just sprayed it and they kind of dissipated. I got the, the fruit and threw it away, but there's a trash can out in the backyard and they had already put some stuff down in there. So there were bees all over the trash can. I, I don't know, we've never had that problem. It was weird. All right, this time we are using Shy Shamrock and let's try, did I get it? Yep, let's try, let's clean this this time. Going from Petunia Pop and we will try. Um, pretty in pink. See, it's not, look. See, doesn't it look purple now next to the pink? I don't know. I don't know what it is. That is so weird. And it just, it really doesn't look stamped off to me because I did consider that. But you know, when you stamp something off, it's really, um, it looks different. It has a different look. I don't know. That's so weird. Maybe it's just been sitting, since it's been sitting there for four months, the color just kind of changed. I mean, it's more like a dusty, I'm not kidding you guys, I pulled out every pink I have and nothing was even remotely close. Well, it doesn't matter because either way, any pink or purple you use will look cute. Not to leave your drinks open. You know, um, Nancy, they were in the cans too and I was very worried about that. Um, you know, I was thinking they probably, um, they probably sell something that you can have. Like, okay, everybody put one of these on top of your can. You know, like a little rubber, like, thing. I'm sure the teenagers will be like, yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll do that. Because you know how fun teenagers are. Let's get the Moody Mob and try it. I tried it, but it was very dark. It was very dark. Let me get another piece of paper. Out of my scrap bin. Okay, let's try Moody Mob. I will show you guys. I mean, to me, I, that's what I was thinking too, but let's see. Yeah, see how dark it is? It's too dark. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. It's not pretty in pink. It's not Petunia Pop. It's not Moody Mauve. Blushing Bride. Ugh. <laughs> Nancy, I wouldn't have used Blushing Bride as my least favorite color. I, I don't know. It's a mystery. It has had to have changed. That It just have, has to have changed. Flirty, I tried Michelle. Flirty was much more orange. Fresh Freesia is like... I mean, well, let's try it. I'll show you guys. Let's try it. Fresh Freesia is much more purple. I'll get them all. Let's just try them all. Let's try them all. Since we're just all here, let's just try it. Okay. So here's that. Let's try Berry Burst. Berry Burst is, was my first initial, really, is what I thought. I mean, that could be it. And maybe it faded. But still, you guys see? I mean, it's still different. Um, Moody Mob stamping off. Okay, let's try that. I, I really don't think it's stamped off because um, it, it doesn't have that look. Stamp When you stamp off, it always looks to me a little, 
unfinished maybe that's the right word okay so there's the full strength yeah see I mean that's probably the closest but you can see how much lighter stamped off is so it doesn't look like that okay let's try it we tried um, fresh freezy I mean I can already tell you it's not fresh freezy but let's try it very purpley very purpley see Okay, it's not that. Flirty Flamingo. I don't know. I just, too, too orange, right? Too orange. And the last one we have is Melon Mambo, and we all know it's not Melon Mambo, but let's just look at it and see. Definitely not. Definitely not. I don't know. It's a mystery. The thing is, Janet, all the retired colors from years past are gone. Like, I don't even have them anymore. So what What were the five colors that retired last year, you guys? I can't even remember them now. My brain is like, I have no idea. I can't, I can't even recall them. If somebody can tell me what they were. Bubble bath? I mean... Bubble bath would no is way lighter than that because remember we used bubble bath over here. See, that's bubble bath, and that's just very different. I don't know. I don't know. Did polish pink just retire? That's been a while, hasn't it? Starry sky or orchid oasis. No, we tried Berry Burst. It wasn't that. Um, oh, Tahitian Tide. No, I don't have lovely lipstick anymore. It, it, it would have to be a current color. The only retired. Polish Pink retired last year? Well, then, I mean, it, it doesn't look like Polish Pink to me. It's purpley. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think what it is is that it's because it sat there for three or four months on my desk, it has just changed. That's the only thing I can think. Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tide. Yeah, it's none of those. Rococo Rose. Yeah, that was a long time ago. All right, Smoky Slate on a perennial postage rectangle. It is a mystery. No, we tried Flirty Flamingo. This was Flirty Flamingo right here. Too orange. I don't know. It's pretty. I like it. It, I really think maybe it was Berry Burst. This was Berry Burst right here. And then maybe it just, right? Like it just faded. I don't know. That's a weird, it's a conundrum. We'll never know. We shall never know. All right. Uh, we are going to cut where we're going to adhere a piece of pretend it's Shy Shamrock and not Summer Splash that I accidentally cut. And we'll bring all this back over. It wasn't in the sun, no, but my studio is pretty bright. So, uh, you know, I don't know. It's weird. It's a mystery. All right, now, before we put this on, let's do the ribbon, because I did it wrong yesterday. Let's do it right. You want that ribbon kind of just uh, sandwiched in. Now, if you guys need uh, to come back and make these videos, and you don't want me to do a color in, color um, uh, experiment in the middle of it. Uh, there is an individual recording of this project edited on YouTube. And that's why I do that. Because sometimes we get on a tangent, ladies. Sometimes we just, oh, I forgot to stamp the sentiment. Sometimes we just get on a tangent. We'll stamp the sentiment. Happiest birthday to you. Can I, oops, not upside down. Can I fit it? I should have done it first. Happiest birthday. Whoa, oh my gosh, I almost dropped it again. What is wrong with me today? Ugh. All right, so set that right there. And then, do I have enough dimensionals? We'll just sandwich this one on here. I really feel like we need four dimensionals. These dimensionals here on this side feel like they're not sticky. We do have fun on some tangents, don't we? I mean, I I went through all of that 
when I yesterday when I was prepping all of this and I, I was like, oh God, this looks terrible. It's not centered. I didn't die cut it very well. I don't know. It's just weird. But use whatever pink or purple you have. It'll work. All right, and there you go. This uh, matte is shaded spruce. I think shaded spruce looks really nice with shy shamrock. All right, there is our last project. All right, easy. This would be one you could make multiples of with no problem. Wouldn't take you very long at all. You could do it in all the end colors since that uh, paper stack has a lot of each of those um, in different colors. Okay, let me show you some bonus projects before we leave. This one is a swap from One of a Kind Creations. Very pretty. I like how she did the flowers around the border there. Um, oh, Carol, this is from Carol. It was not a swap. It was a thank you card. I thought it was a swap. Yay. All right. Oh, and she used those cute little, um, <clears throat> cute little metallic discs. Very cute. Okay. Now here's my bonus cards. This is the new, uh, six by six paper from the holiday catalog. And it is beautiful. It's got that hand painted, um, look that Stampin' Up! has been doing. Um, and so I use the pumpkins from, what did we say that was called? Is Nathan on here at our team meeting? I think Nathan's one that looked it up. Um, sketched field or, I don't know. It's an online exclusive. It has pumpkins in it. So I use those. I stamp those and put them in the wagon or the cart. Isn't that cute? And then on the inside, we just put a few more like that. All right. That'll be on the blog on Tuesday. This one, um, I did use retired vellum on here and I used that, um, somebody tell me, what is that die called? Uh, it's at the tip of my tongue. I can't remember. I'll have a supply list next week for you. And I stamped the flowers kind of like in fall colors. And then there's that little one on the inside like that. There's that paper. That paper's so pretty. So, so, so pretty. Okay. There we go. You guys, let's look. Here are our three projects. If you want them as a free kit, all you have to do is put in an online order by Monday at midnight. Make sure you use that host code um, if you want the projects. If your order is over $150, don't use the host code because Stampin' Up's gonna give you some free stuff and I will still send you the projects for free as well. Thank you, Rita May, I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys joining me this week and next week, I changed my mind. I said we were going to do changing leaves. I'm going to, I am still going to use changing leaves, but I'm going to push that off until we get more into fall. Next week, I've had several of you asking me to use the Simply Sparkling set, the soda can set. So that's what we're going to do next week. That is one of my all-time favorite sets, and I can't believe we haven't used it yet. So we're going to use that soda or Coke or pop or whatever you call it, that set next week, okay? All right, you guys, have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next Friday. Thanks, everybody. Bye.